like when he had an over the top look, you know, there's weak side help there. When we throw it to him straight in, they come in and double in him. So it's hard to get him involved in a game like this, but we tried. And uh, when he did catch the ball down there, he was really effective. I mean, you're expecting to get double, but big guys every time he the ball. Oh, yeah, I knew. I knew it was coming. And what was the game plan trying to counter that? Uh, just make the right play out of the double team. Uh, I didn't turn the ball over out of the double team. I thought I made. Uh, the passes we just didn't um, knock down as many shots as we normally do. So, but it's a learning experience. We good. What happened during that when they went on that big run? It was like 17-2. What happened from your guys' perspective, and then what clicked and maybe you guys to get right back in? Uh, we weren't getting stops. They had a couple easy shots on a you know fast break. Like I remember, we lost somebody in transition. They got a three. They got kind of uh, their team going off that, and uh, we just kind of got away from what we were doing. That kept us like close or ahead in the game. But uh, once we had a timeout, we settled down. We came right back at them, you know, went a little run ourselves. So, uh, I don't know, just back and forth game with two good teams. I you come out of a game like this feeling discouraged or feeling a little better about yourselves as a team going to the wire against the team ranked 12th in the nation? Uh, well, honestly, we, we definitely felt like we could have beat them. Um, it doesn't really matter about the ranking. Just like every other game, is things that you take from it, positive and negatives. And I think we had a lot of positives. But um, just down the stretch, we made a lot of silly mistakes. And, um, the stuff we need to learn. It's not nothing that really they really forced us to do for most of the time. It was just stuff that we did on our own to give the game away. And um, I mean, we learned from it. Bro, were you guys expecting what Kyle Guy contributed for that? Yeah, we knew we knew coming in he was a very talented player. He made tough shots down the stretch. I mean, I thought we played good defense. He just made tougher shots. So. I can't even be mad at that. Well, I mean, it gives us something to, to look at, you know. We're not a perfect team. We're getting there. I think it's positive we haven't peaked yet. We haven't, like, necessarily, like, shown, like, our full capabilities yet, which is a good thing going into the conflict. We can always get better. And, uh, you know, a couple of days off at home, we'll be right back at it, get ready for Arizona when we come back. How about Sam Sanders? Well, I think Sam's been playing great for us the past few games. And, you know, tonight he continues his strong play, especially uh, down the stretch. You know, he's been playing with a lot of confidence, attacking the rim. And uh, that's what we need from every night. I mean, you double and triple every night. Are, are you enjoying this at all, the, the attention that opponents are giving you and the opportunities that it gives you to, to pass? Uh, <clears throat> of course. Um, I mean, I always hang my head on making the right play. Uh, I feel like sometimes I do that too many, too much. Um, I feel like down the stretch, I probably should have uh, shot the ball a little bit more when I had open looks, but I was trying to find the next guy. But um, I don't know. I expected it, so I knew it was coming. Um, tonight was weird because I didn't get like um, like normal shots. I got like free throws for the most part. So um, yeah, I feel like yeah, it's, it's, it was just weird. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think it was hard. Um, I didn't think it was hard at all. I just kept dishing the ball. Um, and the thing is, the positive thing about this game is, with all our scores on the team, we know down. Like like you said, we have peaks. He's gonna make shots. Mingo is gonna continue to make shots. Um, Charlie, Grant. I mean, we we know what's coming. But um, of course, you always want to win. But we gave us one win. Ivan, you, you were a freshman just last year. Charlie had some difficult moments tonight. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I don't need to say anything to Charlie. I know he's hard enough on himself, um, but he's a perfectionist, so he's going to think about it himself. Um, of course, all I did was encourage him. I told him um, we need him to run the show. I feel like he did a good job tonight, but like you said, um, he had some, some freshman mistakes. But it's good that he got thrown in the fire tonight. Um, I think this game really helped because up to this point, we really had, haven't had too many um, like extremely competitive games like this. And um, I mean, he's, he's very composed. He's a very composed player. so. Um, we know going down the line, he'll be fine. Did you guys get an explanation of that shot clock violation under, just under three minutes ago? Did that make any sense to you? Uh, I guess I just didn't get to get it on my hands quick enough before the foul. I guess that was the explanation behind it. I remember I, drove, I thought I got fouled, but I guess the foul happened after the shot clock went off. So I guess they reversed the call. I don't think the shot clock was on the foul. Hey, the refs called it, <laughs> so that's what happened. <laughs>